My name is Dr. Steve Schneider. I'm president of St. Mary's Hospital. We're located in Waterbury, Connecticut. We've been in Waterbury uh, for over 100 years. We are a faith-based organization that serves a population of about 300,000 people. St. Mary's Hospital is a level two trauma center. We do anywhere between 3,000 to 5,000 surgeries on a yearly basis. The thing I love about St. Mary's is we don't want to just take care of people now. We want to learn how they should be taken care of a couple of years from now. And the only way to do that is to embrace the technology that's out there like ultrasound. Certainly ultrasound is one of the most important functionalities that we as anesthesiologists use. The way we've used ultrasound for enhanced recovery has revolutionized any kind of surgery that I do. One patient was really terrified, not about her condition, but she was more concerned about the narcotic use. I had enough to worry about um, just being scared of having that tumor, having cancer, and having to go through chemo. I didn't have to want something else to have to worry about. Alicia is a lot younger than the typical colon cancer patient. The thing that really concerned her about her surgery though is that she had somebody that she loved who became a narcotic addict several years before after a car accident. So when I went to see Dr. Corvo, he let me know that there was an alternative to narcotics using nerve block. Our anesthesiologists will do something called a tap block and under ultrasound guidance they will put a bolus of this medication right on top of the nerve. And our patients wake up sometimes feeling absolutely no pain at all. It was a short stay, which was great. It's basically a trade-off of doing a 10-minute procedure just before we operate, and yet the patient goes home four days earlier. So the trade-off is 10 minutes for four days. I don't think I've ever seen a return on investment that good anywhere. Ultrasound enables us to do that safely and efficiently and effectively. It was a great experience with Dr. Corvo. He's an amazing doctor. I think he's an angel from heaven. He saved my life, you know, and everything went well and really great. Just a great experience overall. There is a new uh, metric that Medicare is following, something called an ORAD, which stands for an Opioid Related Adverse Event. The first full year that we actually had this enhanced protocol in place, our ORAD complication rate was so low that it was incalculable. Sunocyte's been a great partner to work with. Our patient satisfaction scores are directly tied to how patients uh, feel about their experience here. And this has just been a real patient satisfier. Infection rate goes lower, patient satisfaction is better, safety is significantly better, and unlike almost every other new technology out there, we make money doing it. Sonosite ultrasound makes my job easier really every day. The image quality is superior and the ultrasound machine is portable. So that if we have a patient in the emergency room that ends up going to the operating room, we can follow them with it. If there's any education that we use, Sonosite is right there willing to be partners with us. It's an investment not only in the technology, but in better care of the patients and better outcomes. St. Mary's is a very interesting hospital to be in because it has a rich tradition. It was founded by nuns almost 120 years ago. Some of the buildings we still operate in are 75 to 100 years old. That is a really wonderful part, is to see that side-by-side -side contrast between the rich tradition and the use of modern technology.